Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your April reading. And let's go straight to your reading. And let's start talking about the astrological aspects that we're going to have this month of April. So, Cancer, if you go back to your March reading, you're going to see that I spoke about Jupiter in retrograde and Mercury retrograde. The good thing is that Mercury is going direct now on April 15. So, that's going to be pretty much better than what it used to be. Uh, Mercury retrograde is um, in your 10th house, which has to be with your career, public image, and reputation, dealing with authorities, figures, etc., etc. And that's going to happen in the first two weeks, right? of April. You're still going to be dealing with that. And Jupiter retrograde is going to be until the middle of July. And it's in your fifth house. Your house of relationship, love, fun, children. So a lot of things going to change and a lot of things coming back to you. Maybe people. Sorry. People uh, from the past, situations, etc., that you're going to encounter. All right, great. So let's look at your cards. These are the cards so far that we can look at. All right. All right, let's see. I'm going to speak a little bit more of what's going on uh, with astrological aspects. We have Saturn retrograde making a conjunction with Mars now on April 17 to April 6 on your 7th house. Um, so is going to be relationship, partnership, marriage, business partnership. You're going to have some, you know, uh, probably talks with... Um, with grandparents maybe because they're in the picture also and you have Venus in your living house that is going to be visible the entire month of April and your living house is about social activities friendship social connections hope wishes and the groups you belong to etc etc so <clears throat> let me say that let's start we have the hermits we have the nine of swords. All right, we do need to talk here, Cancer. Three of swords. Look at this cards. Ten of swords. Two of wands. The great card here is the magician. Don't worry, I know what's going on. This month of April, it's about relationship, businesships, partnerships. And for you, it's going to be very complicated to assimilate this mentally. You're going to look at things that happened in the past. For some reason, you're going to be back where things were not so great and hurt you. And you feel, you feel betrayed. And that might put you in a situation where you are going to be dreaming about this stuff and, and feeling anxious, you know, like what's going on. But it's all about a process of revising, going in within and checking what have you done wrong in the past that is not allowing you to move forward. And two of wands here, it's something like making, like trying to deal with, um, trying to find your direction between two directions. You know what I mean? You're trying to find that direction where you're going to be. You have two choices. You must know what your choices are. 
the good thing about the magician here is that if you see is like very bright and sunny and of course you have the sword you know what it means despite all this stuff with the hermit you have the power and the tools to move forward and do whatever you want the problem is that you still undecisive which direction you're going um, but you are heading there you are heading there and you have to you're growing wiser you are realizing with the Hierophant card why is that you don't feel completely happy even though you do have what you wish for but it's not there completely as you want it to be so you still like expecting more wishing more but the only thing that is doing is bringing you pain and sorrow so this month since we have all these crazy astrological aspects happening especially with all these planets in retrograde they are really hitting you hard, hard basically in the relationship in relationships department for you and it's 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 not about emotions it's about mental state your mental state how it's going to be because you you definitely are looking at the direction where you want to go it's not like you stuck you know where you heading and you just overthinking so much about these things and you definitely going to be able to grow and learn as much as you can especially from what you feel is not helping you to get this four of wands completely this way upright instead of going upside down because this means like there is something a type of internal conflict with the hermit that is not allowing you to see clear the direction you know where you're going but you don't see it clearly it's like is it really this is you oh my god I don't know should I go like I know this must be good for me uh, uh, but what if what if what if I don't feel like this is going like ex you know exactly how I want it so so what I'm doing wrong what, what's what's going on so you kind of like it's like being like a mart martyr in, inside of you you know like you are just keep thinking about this keep thinking about this and maybe maybe you going back to where someone hurt you in the past and give you a heartache someone betray you and and that is really unnecessary to be honest with you because it's it's putting you in a situation where you know i mean it's 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 good if you want to think about how to fix things but you don't need to do this every night or every day wake up and think about the same thing in the same story over and over because whatever happened it happened and there's nothing you can do about it but yes you can just try to think about the things that you might need to change in terms of your relationships because it's about all about relationships for you this month all about relationship and love of course um, Venus is going to help you and you're going to be able to go out and have fun and you know um, but at the same time I think you're going to need someone to rely on like a mentor probably you're gonna find someone to help you because you do need it with this card hermit that's you so you're gonna need a mentor too the higher fan usually means, you know, a pope. 
So it represents like a pope, right? You see, well, this is not a pope, but you see, you can get the key to succeed while you get wiser. And that's why you need someone who help you to achieve that step. So you might need someone or you're going to find someone that is going to give you that help. Okay. So, all right. We have a whole bunch of cards here. So let's look at this one by one. Mother of Pentacles, the dead, yes, good. Dot of Wands, reverse, or the Page of Wands, reverse. So let's look at these three cards. First of all, we know what means the dead card. New cycles going. Something has to be ending, especially when it when it have to be with this Page of Wands. And you know what it needs to end is that part of you, because it's you, being pessimistic, being um, undecisive, and being a lack, having a, like a lack of motivation. Like you have a little issue issue with even I would say with the self image, and maybe you need to be a little less superficial too. Because the only way you're going to end that cycle is when you start changing that and transforming with a dead card. So we can move to a better you with a mother of pentacles. Right? So we're talking about queen of pentacles. Talks about... Is it? Okay. Queen of Pentacles is talking about someone who is caring, someone that's very supporting and nurturing. That's you. That's you, Cancer. It's all about water and emotions, being supportive, you know, um, balance between your home and work, too, because we have here it's Pentacles. But for you, this month is not about work. It's not about financial issues. There's nothing of that. Nothing. Nothing real of that. I know you still in revision about your career, but you're doing good. I see you dealing good because we have the Mother of Pentacles here, and there's nothing that tells me otherwise. So you're okay with that. You might have actually someone who's supporting you at work, who helps you with I don't know, your partner or a friend, but it might be your partner actually that it's there give you that support at work and give you ideas and stuff like that but when it comes to your emotions even friends could be the ones supporting you at work but when it comes to your emotions you need to stop you really need to stop overthinking and it's okay to try to change what you have done wrong in the past but but if you want to be stuck there, then you're not transforming and changing to something that could let you see what is right in front of you because you are so capable. You have all the tools. You're so smart. You can do everything you want, but you are being pushed to be overanalyzing things. And I think it's not really the energy is too much, but you really go in because you're you're signed by itself as water, so you're very emotional. So you go in to be into that mode, like going over and over, like an obsession thinking, but but what happened, but this, but that. If someone comes and try to help you, right? Someone will accept that help, and you're really gonna need it. You're really gonna need it, and it's going to be good for you. Okay. Next cards. Son of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords. We have the Five of Swords. Wow. And then we have the Three of Wands Reverse. Okay. Let's check these cards. What do you see with this? The Knight of Swords. <sighs> it's coming rapidly, quickly. With determination, right? Fight of swords. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Fight of swords. 
conflicts, arguments, discussions, trying to win at all costs, and three of wands reverse. Being in stock, waiting for something to happen, but it's not happening. So, if we put all this three together, listen. <laughs> I know you are just there standing and waiting for something to happen. But nothing is going to happen if you're going to be in the mood where you want to go with your sword and pick on people just because you want to prove that you're right. And more swords. Wow. This is the Eight of Swords. If you do this, if you do this, you'll be trapped mentally. You will probably feel regret of what you're going to do. So if you ever think in this month to go and become this Knight of Swords when you are so water, don't don't you try. No. That's not that is not what you have to do. In terms of any relations, you might be dealing with someone who is a Gemini or any air sign because it's too much. Could be Gemini or Libra or Aquarius, but more Gemini and Libra, I see. Maybe someone who is a fire sign. A Taurus also. Maybe, uh, you probably um, dealing with a Taurus sign too. Yep. But it's... Because this cups, cups, cups are you. You. And how you feel. And you're going to feel so aggress aggressive in the fact that you're going to be so overthinking things. Like you're going to feel like you need to uh, grab everyone's stuff and, and swords and, and try to, you know, like quickly start, you know, proving your point and stuff like that. You don't need to. It makes no sense. Because it's going to put you in a worse situation with people around. So let's look at all right, good. How are we entering? You are going to be able to see things entering May. You're going to be able to see things more clear. Yes, you are. Just be careful with that aggressiveness that is is going to be inside of you. And of course, you have to really take advantage of the magician. You're going to need to be more tact, uh, how do you say, tactful. Like, make sure you can manage all the strategies. So, you're going to have to work on that. Because... Why are you going to be looking at this, I will say, new clear path ahead? It's because the energy at the end will push you to, with a with the fool, obviously, it's going to push you to be in a mode of trying to really accomplish your goals and opportunities and experiences, especially when it comes to relationships. Like you're going to be more, I would say, a little bit more focused and you're going to be able to grow. Like personally, you're going to have like a personal growth because of all this. I know it's really tough. It's going to be really tough, but guess what? It's really going to help you because I see you... Even your attitude itself is going to be more like a like a like a um, like an air sign. Instead of being watery, you're going to be really much in the mode of an air sign, a bit cold, a bit 
because you you in that stage and the strength in reverse is telling me you know well you were not having the strength you've been dealing with yourself you've been dealing with self-esteem probably you feel like you don't have this you know the power to move forward because you mentally so trapped in, the, in within you and you need to change this because you are bringing this to yourself and I know you know probably someone hurt you like I said it could be an air sign too hurting you a Taurus that hurt you in the past and you start thinking about this and going back to what happened and you going to start, you know, doing this to yourself. It's okay to think about it and try to fix and try to change yourself a bit and say, this is not going to happen to me again. I'm not going to allow anyone else to do this with this person did to me. That's okay. But do not go and slash people with your sword either. All right. That's not right because you're going to hurt yourself more if you don't do that you might be able to look at things in a better with a better picture in, in front of you things are going to go well and that strength in reverse is going to go upside down okay so my Kansas I know I wish I could give you a better reading but it's not the outside influence it's about you and what is inside of you so be careful with your relationships. Be careful with uh, the person around you. Not saying because they want to do something to you. It's because you're going to be more aggressive this month. So be careful how you express yourself. How you act. Just be more strategic. Okay? Be careful. You'll be able to see things clearly at the end. You don't need to go and poking someone with your sword and taking everyone's swords like, I won the battle and everybody else is just going to be like yeah whatever you know relax okay my cancer big kiss and i wish you much love and much light and i see you in the mid month ciao